YouTube countrymen, I now greet you as King Bad Wolf of the micro nation of Lovitica. <laughs> Actually, even though I'm just kind of teasing, uh, yeah, I'm making that happen. So you check out the title and it says, you know, I created my own micro nation or something along those lines. I haven't really figured out what the title is going to be. So I know I created a video before and said, you know, said that uh, should you create your own micro nation? Well, you know what I thought about it? And here I am. I have the paperwork all done and I'm getting ready to submit that. So, but why? What is it all? Let's jump in. Okay, so a micro nation, there's no legal um, laws, codes, statutes against you forming your own micro nation. A micro nation can be um, one person, it can be many people, um, it can be, you know, uh, on a carpet, it could be your backyard, it could be in your car, it could be your entire house. Uh, whatever it is you want to declare that as, you can. Now, what's the purpose though? Okay. Well, the purpose of this could be for many reasons. For one, creating your own micro nation um, allows you to basically designate yourself as a king, a queen, a lord, a president of your own nation. There are tons of micro nations around the United States and around the world that are, some are recognized, some are not recognized. But if you look up the um, requirements for a nation, like a micro nation, basically you have to have uh, a government, you have to have people, you have to have some type of uh, land or, you know, place, okay? And also they would like you to be uh, recognized by another nation or micro nation state or country, okay? So what I've done is I have designated my house as a micro nation using my last name, okay? So it's my micro nation is Lovitica, okay? Or love, love it and I C A, Lovitica. <laughs> Yes, I did this. Yes, I have the paperwork uh, printed up and I'm going to have, go take it to the bank and have it notarized. And then I'm going to send it to the state of Wisconsin and I'm going to send it to the city of Milwaukee. And I'm going to send it to, um, you know, the Department of State and all those places so that they know. And my fellow people of Ladonia, I contacted them to send them uh, an official notice to say that we're open to foreign um, relations. And I actually had, well, actually I messaged uh, a ton of micronations and uh, I got one reply back so far that even though they don't provide anything formally, they said that um, because you've contacted us, we see you as a friend. And so we greet you and recognize you as a friend of our country. So I am officially a micronation. <sighs> I have my own government, king, whatever else I need population and we're good now but how can you use this for something along this because you're probably like well where's the meat and potatoes because you know mr wolf you're always you know you always got something in the in you know in, in the stew in the pot right well as this being our own nation or my own nation if i work from home i'm no longer working on state property i'm working on within my own nation it happens to be no taxes in my own nation remember this is all educational purposes as it says down below in the description um so now if you've done your renunciation um or revocation of election you don't have to pay federal taxes state taxes if i'm no longer working on state property and i'm working on working on my own micro nation i don't have to pay state taxes or do I? Hmm. Well, I'm in my own nation. We don't charge any station or taxes, tax, no taxation, and we even issue our own currency. Which all you have to do is basically write up your proposal and and on your form, your affidavit, basically of or your declaration of sovereign nation. Once you do that, now there are things such as the fact that it's a micro nation. You would have to probably put up a sign you know, somewhere outside of your house or car or facility or whatever, letting people have just do notice that this is what it is. And like, if you're going to claim property, like your car, for instance, you'd have to put, you know, label that on there. 
or carry around the paperwork in your car because now that's considered foreign property to anything U.S. So technically, they wouldn't have the ability to take your car, repo your car, or do anything with it unless it's causing a problem or in the way of traffic because it is now a foreign piece of material. Your house. Can they come in your house? Not without your invite or you doing something to give them jurisdiction because you are a micro nation. Especially if it's declared and some other nation um, officially recognizes you. So, here's my thing to you guys. If you want to start your own micro nation, um, the micro nation of Lovitica will, for a small donation of forty nine ninety nine. Uh, send you paperwork clarifying that we recognize you as a uh, foreign nation and we will open up uh, foreign relations with you officially and send you that back so that you can be declared a private foreign nation to whatever else. Okay. And I would suggest keeping that paperwork and then putting it with your papers, your declaration of. Um, status or declaration of nation of uh, micro nation that you go and get notarized at the bank and then submit to your various heads of state and whatever else okay um, as long as you qualify through all the steps of a micro nation so google the fact micro nation um, you know how to form one and what constitute one and how what what all steps are needed which is what I just told you and get it done now, I'm not saying that you should do this to avoid the law or legal situations or things of that nature. This is educational purposes. Um, can you do those things? Well, possibly. That's up to you to make your own determination. But um, any nation, anything that's a state or a nation that is foreign to... Um, the U.S. is outside of their jurisdiction, as long as it's recognized. So, um, that being said, that's what I'm doing for me, and the paperwork's already drawn up, and by the time you guys are watching this, um, well, probably within the next two or three weeks from when you guys have seen this, either it's done, or it's going to be done because I want to get my final version of my passport back um, and when I go to the bank I want them to notarize it using the passport card me as a uh, US national national state citizen for reference versus doing it with a state ID or a um, um, driver's license because they usually will take the number off of that and put it on there as record okay so I want them to see me basically as a free man on the land and not a 14th Amendment citizen because slaves really don't have power and they still have jurisdiction over all any of that stuff and materials and numbers. So um, that's basically about it, guys. Um, what else can I tell you? Except for that, um, basically, I have dubbed myself uh, king of my own particular uh, micronation and I've labeled my son as the prince and heir to the throne. Um, and anybody else who, um, you know, I invite here. Oh, I guess I could go into a little bit further, more details, right? Okay, so what I did was, is my house is the actual micronation. I went on to the city website. I got the exact number, description of this exact plot. I used that in my declaration. Um, I put on a national song, theme, food, festivals, um my declaration that independent and sovereign nation who were affiliated with um and that the outside of my house is my land and that particular land is considered neutral territory um which enables uh, the city of milwaukee to utilize it for their um for the utilities that come up to our nation that we utilize their services inside of our nation and that they have free access to that. I labeled um, in uh, in lieu of good foreign relations that um, the property pass, this, including the sidewalk pass there, is considered uh, city um, foreign relations zone, 
meaning that they take care of the sidewalk for any damages or repairs, and the trees that are outside in that area, um, in good faith to form relations, are to be maintained by the city, which technically they do anyway, right? So, um, just stuff like that. And that um, my house will have, um, will be posted, because I'm going to have some signs made at the, uh, the sign I showed you where you can get your plates made, build a sign. And basically, it's going to give notice to all the officials, you know, any law enforcement, any mail delivery people, because um, I said on there that mail delivery people and, um, you know, the post off United States Postal Service, the box is ours, but the inside of it, we're declaring that it's theirs and they have the right to put mail articles and particles and parcels in there and that it's private property invite only, um, you know, from the porch up. Okay. So... That is how it goes. Now, I did hear something along the lines that if you have your doorbell, um, you're basically allowing uh, jurisdiction for them to come up to the door. That's fine. They've been warned. And also, on the sign, I'm going to put on there that there is a, um, you know, for any violations of this, that there is a per person, per incident, fine or fee of, you know, 1100 bucks, you know, or, you know, 500 bucks per hour or whatever, however you want to look at it. And um, that uh, people are only welcome by invite, and it's going to be posted. So if they do that, that's a contract. If they you know come on my property, because it's going to be right before they get to it, so they have to see it. And you know, as far as the doorbell thing, I don't know if that's you know factual. It might be. So I might even put on there, you know, um, you have the ability to ring the doorbell one time and then the, basically get off the porch. <laughs> So that's basically about it, guys. Uh, be creative. Have fun with it. You know what I mean? Um, but like I said, in everything, do your own due diligence. Look into it. See if it's something that works for you. Um, don't just take my word for it. But uh, the more you know, you know, it's better and more ways you can protect yourself. Because remember, as I always say, I'm always about, you know, precautionary things, you know, before anything. Prevent something by using um, methods to protect yourself before anything happens. You know, so this way, um, if they come on my property and try to do something or say something, well, you didn't see that. Well, you violated that, you know, blah, blah, blah. And I'm billing myself out or whatever else. Or, you know, I'm a sovereign king. You know, does the United States um, have the ability to go onto a sovereign nation and remove a king from that? If not, if, if you, you know, if you don't, which they don't because we don't have anything written um, as far as an exchange of the ability for them to do that, well, then guess what? Uh, I'm billed out $1,100 an hour. And I heard of a guy doing this, and he got um, $9,000 because they arrested him for something and violated his space and all that good stuff. And, um, the, you know, cops and whatever else were kind of laughing and joking when he was saying, it's like, yeah, he's like, well, you guys going to be laughing when you guys get the bill. And he sent them the bill and they had they paid him out like, you know, nine thousand some odd dollars because they violated it. It was posted. And it, and he was it was private he was a private situation, private citizen, you know, a national. Gotcha, thanks for playing. You guys play it, we can play it too. So, but I'm not saying use this information for bad or mischievous purposes. Um, that's on you and whatever God or gods or other that you believe in. So that's about it, guys. Thanks for checking in. I appreciate you. Um, definitely thank you for the comments. Uh, I appreciate the fact that you guys are like, yeah, you, you know, some of you guys talk to me in person, um, through email or phone or whatever else. And you're like, oh, you seem like a really down cool person, man. This is just me, man. I'm not trying to impress nobody. I'm just putting this information out there. Everything I'm telling you is the stuff I've either done or I'm doing and it's worked for me. And if it's BS and I've gone through it, I'm going to tell you it's BS. I've gone through it. Don't do it. You know? Um, that's also why I don't put on all the information because I have gone through some stuff and it hasn't worked and maybe I'll make some videos on those too, just to show you guys what doesn't work. You know what I mean? Um, or what got me into trouble and which is why I know how to do a lot of these things the right way. Uh, so that's really about it. Don't forget to hit that bell, like, and subscribe. Um, the channel is growing. Thank you guys once again for the donations. Um, hey. I support you guys, and thank you for supporting me. If you guys want to 
join as affiliates or something um, through, you know, YouTube, send me one of those invites to your channel and I'll like it. And, you know, we can cross advertise or whatever. It doesn't bother me. Um, other than that, um, just really want to say take care and if you can't, you know, why those things always slip your mind? Oh, for any, um, you know, offers and discounts and benefits look down in the descriptions it contains my emails it contains you know offers off for like uber uber eats and getting your own website for free drop shipping of cbd all that stuff so there's a ton of good information down there guys just kind of sort through and you'll find it so that's about it guys bad wolf as you can see it in the behind me is out and about so take care love yourself and have a good day